Today, we'll explore the life of a fascinating creature, often considered one of the more unsettling birds of Africa. It is a scavenger with a key role in maintaining ecological balance. Found across sub-Saharan Africa, this bird is recognized not just for its large size, but also for its unique features, including its naked head, long legs, and balloon-like throat pouch. Today, we'll explore the life of the marabou stork. The marabou stork is hard to miss. With a wingspan that can reach up to 10 feet and a body standing over 5 feet tall, it's a bird that demands attention. But it's not just its size that makes it stand out. Its appearance is also strikingly unusual. The head and neck are mostly bare, with pinkish skin giving it a somewhat unnerving look. Its beak, long and sharp, is perfect for tearing through meat, and the pouch hanging from its throat is perhaps the most bizarre of all its features. This pouch is large and fleshy, often inflated during mating displays, but it also serves an important purpose in regulating the bird's temperature. The long, spindly legs of the marabou stork add to its strange appearance, allowing it to wade through shallow waters in search of food. The bird's wings, broad and powerful, are ideally suited for soaring through the sky. While many storks are known for their elegant, graceful flight, the marabou stork's flight is more functional. It uses thermal updrafts to soar for long distances without expending much energy. A vital skill for a bird that often spends its time in search of food. Unlike many other birds of prey, the marabou stork doesn't hunt live animals. Instead, it thrives as a scavenger, feeding almost exclusively on carrion. From the remains of large herbivores like wildebeest and buffalo to smaller animals, the marabou stork is an opportunistic feeder, taking advantage of any carcass it can find. This ability to consume decaying material makes the bird an essential part of its ecosystem, helping to clean up and break down organic matter that might otherwise contribute to the spread of disease. Despite their somewhat solitary feeding habits, marabou storks are not antisocial creatures. They are often seen in large flocks, particularly around food sources. These birds have a strong social structure, and their interactions can range from peaceful feeding groups to competitive displays for mating opportunities. Once a pair forms, the marabou storks collaborate in building large, often precariously perched, nests in trees. These nests can be huge, with some reaching several feet across. The nests are made from sticks, twigs, and other plant materials, and both parents contribute to building and maintaining the structure. The nests are typically built in tall trees that offer a good vantage point and protection from predators, a critical element in ensuring the safety of their young. As a scavenger, the marabou stork is often misunderstood, and yet it plays a vital role in maintaining the balance of its ecosystem. Without scavengers like the marabou stork, decomposing organic matter would accumulate, potentially leading to the spread of diseases and the growth of harmful bacteria. These birds help prevent outbreaks of illness by consuming carcasses and breaking down organic waste. Their scavenging also ensures that the nutrients in dead animals are returned to the soil, promoting healthy plant life and contributing to the overall health of the ecosystem. 
While the marabou stork is not currently classified as endangered, it faces numerous challenges. Habitat destruction, particularly in Africa, is a significant threat to the species, as wetlands and forests are drained for agriculture and urban development. In some regions, the birds are also hunted for their feathers and other body parts. However, the marabou stork's ability to adapt to urban environments such as landfills and waste dumps has helped the species remain relatively stable. Now, it's time to see how much you've learned from today's episode. We've got three fun trivia questions coming up. Ready? Let's start! Question 1. What is the primary food source for the marabou stork? The correct answer is C. Carrion. The marabou stork is a scavenger, primarily feeding on the remains of dead animals. Let's try another question. Question 2. What is the function of the marabou stork's throat pouch? The correct answer is C. To regulate body temperature. The pouch helps cool the blood and keeps the marabou stork comfortable during hot conditions. Let's move on to the last question for this episode. Question 3. Where do marabou storks typically build their nests? The correct answer is C. In trees. Marabou storks build large nests in trees where they incubate their eggs and raise their young. Great job if you got all three questions correct. If you missed any, don't worry. You've just learned some fascinating facts about the marabou stork.